We are getting reaction from basketball players at Coral Gables High School after their shot at a state title was cut short because they had to quarantine for COVID exposure. Uh, they want to know why all teams don't have to play by the same rules. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live now with more on this. Christina. And I have to tell you, this team, the players, their parents, they are showing some grit and determination. They are not giving up this fight and the chance to vie for that state title. First, let's listen into their story. It's almost as if everything we've worked for has been taken away. Marcos Molina is a Coral Gables High School boys basketball team assistant coach, he says, and father of a player fighting for the team to continue their state playoffs quest. Devastated, their season was cut short last weekend. The reason? He says when a private school they recently played reported positive COVID-19 cases, it triggered a 14-day quarantine for the team. And even though he says they got tested on the Thursday before last weekend's game. All our kids and coaches came out negative. We provided 15 negative tests to the school. They were still forced to forfeit the game last weekend, abruptly ending their shot at the state title. It means everything to them. They've worked four years, especially our seniors, to get to this level, to be able to be good enough their senior year to compete for a state championship. On Saturday, the team sending us this video, players expressing their disappointment. I'd like for the rules to change from a 14 day quarantine to a seven day quarantine. We took their case to the district, a spokesperson telling us, quote, Miami-Dade County Public Schools continues to work with the Florida High School Athletic Association in a neighboring district to explore all available options within the established timelines. We want to ensure that our decisions not only adhere to required health protocols, but also protect the principles of equity for all impacted teams. I just think everyone should be treated fairly. And so what they maybe thought was a done deal may now be a developing story. Certainly stay tuned. The district telling us an announcement about this case is expected within the hour. And so perhaps we will hear that confirmation that they have been scheduled, that they managed to work this out with the neighboring district and that that team will be once again vying for the state title. So stick with us on Local10.com. We'll post that update as soon as it comes. For now, reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.